Okay guys, it's uh, Roland from Borealis Bushcraft. Um, just got back from a scout and did a little bit of uh, chicken hunting. As you can see, we got uh, we got one. I probably could have got all four that were in that cluster, but it was pretty tight. So this guy, I got him. Got lucky enough to get him on the ground. The other guys took off right away. But uh, show you the camo job I did on my Mossberg turkey thug. If you're wondering what the hollow point slugs are, they are for predator defense at night time. Bring the dog out and I ain't having my dog eaten by anything not so friendly. Other than that, I don't really leave the shotgun. I kind of live right there on the side saddle. It's on Velcro so I can take it off if I need to. But uh, yeah, I've been using uh, just uh, target loads, just lead check and shot. I think these are uh, seven and a halfs. Works pretty good on chickens. Um, full choke in the shotgun's uh, nice to keep the pattern together, but. Uh, it's you gotta really be careful at close range, otherwise you're just gonna eviscerate your bird. I've done that before. Three yards and a full choke doesn't uh, make for very good chicken hunting. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll just take you now that it's light out and, and take and show you kind of the spot where we are. It's a uh, mixed boreal, and it's, uh, it's a nice area. I've been coming here for a lot of years. There's a White Mouth River, a little bit uh, better picture of the tarp lean to I set up last night. It's kind of quick and dirty, so uh, yeah, and it's an old tarp, so it sagged out a bit. And uh, in my truck I carry uh, three, sectional, yeah, three sectional steel tarp poles. Uh, they were from or from an old tent that I had years ago and they've just been super handy. You can see this canvas tarp has kind of sagged out a little bit. But uh, that's all right. Kept the rain off last night, no leaks, no nothing. It was good. I only paid uh, $80 years ago for this tarp and it's held up good. Downside, I was at a scout camp and I used it in the canvas tent in the winter time as a, oh, somebody shot something. A couple of First Nations uh, people up here hunting. It's just really good to see. Actually, get note, join their heritage. But anyway, uh, I had the tarp folded up as a as a kneeling pad, and somebody was making feather sticks and slipped and pushed their knife through like 12 layers of canvas. So, <laughs> and nobody said nothing to me about it, so I was a little choked. But I had it repaired and. A buddy of mine did that for me. So, I had mentioned that this is a truck supported trip. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tour of the truck. Nothing overly fancy. To look at it, it's, it's as a bug out vehicle, it's just a normal Toyota Tacoma off road edition, so it's got a little bit more in the way of benefits for off-roading but it's not jacked up not lifted it'll go places dog's tired tired and wet his belly's all wet so you know there's not a whole lot of room in these trucks so as a bug out vehicle it's a little bit has its limitations so you're probably wondering where i keep a lot of my supplies for the truck itself um you know what every available space so in here we got some food and these are basically leftover leftover MREs from when the kid goes to uh, to uh, field training exercises with the cadet corps and a little bit of oatmeal that was stuffed in there because who doesn't you know like oatmeal I don't really care for it but I'll eat it and uh, these I actually got at uh, Walmart, which is kind of cool. They're resealable. So it's resealable. And it's, uh, 
mandarin oranges, and the other one I believe is pineapple chunks. And they're called fridge packs. Well, let's have a little look at fridge pack. So, now, when you get into this, this says best before May of 2019. Right. So that's good all the way for for an entire year, and it's it's a retort pack, just like an MRE, packed in liquid. So this in and of it, the in of it of itself is no different than MRE packaging, really. Aside of the MRE packaging, it might be heavier. Okay. So let's have a look here. Per 125 mLs, you have 90 calories. No fat, no saturated fat, no cholesterol. 10 milligrams of sodium, which is actually a good thing, especially your body needs salt. Carbohydrates, 22 grams of carbohydrates. No fiber, 20 grams of sugar, 1 gram of protein. So there's not a whole lot of protein in here, but you know what? It's got 6% of your daily intake of vitamin A, and it's got 80% of your daily intake of vitamin C, and it has some calcium and some iron. So, typically what you're going to be lacking, if you're bugging out, is vitamins, minerals, that kind of stuff. As you can see, my bug out bag fits in behind the seat there. I'll pop the seat forward. Here's my MMS sleep system, my truck mag light, spare knife, case for the shotgun, that kind of stuff. Sasha's dog bowl. Okay, so you're probably wondering that you know the truck you know, doesn't really have that much in terms of supplies. So what I did. And I got a few mods that I gotta do this yet. And keep in mind that this is my daily driver. So the wife's daily driver, blah blah blah. Now in this box, which is bolted to the truck bed, it's a steel box with a decent master padlock. Yeah, it's not completely theft proof, but you know what? It's going to hold the supplies. So in there is going to be the uh, truck get home bag. Um, it's not heavily stocked, but it has spare clothes and stuff in there for the wife and kid. Uh, it's got water in there. It's got an extra pair of boots for me, for the kid. Um, the wife doesn't seem to want to put a pair of boots in there, so you know what? She can have some blisters, I guess. Tough for her. Um, full jerry can of fuel. Um, I have to get the uh, mount for this jerry and uh, lock it in there as well. Uh, in behind the jerry is where I keep my S-Twing axe, which, by the way, is a piece of shit. Yes, I'm bashing S-Twing. And my Sven saw. And I also keep a long-handled spade and some, as you can see, night eyes, heavy-duty bungee tie-downs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This truck is equipped with an inverter. So if I have to recharge things, tools, you know, whatever, uh, that can be done. Um, there's provisions in here for uh, vehicle extrication rope clevises, that kind of thing. This is also the box that holds the uh, the canvas tarps. Um, the green one is I rolled back up in there that I used as a ground sheet last night. I rolled that back, put it put it away, locked it up because I went hunting. So the truck on its own has its own basic survival kit. Nothing fancy, but it's gonna work. This is the uh, tent peg bag which uh, these tent pegs are fantastic you can usually get them at Princess Auto for like dirt cheap and I suggest if you have a vehicle that you're outfitting for any kind of uh, emergency situation to have some kind of a tarp shelter type system in there 
with a tarp big enough to uh, cover the box of your truck. So if you are needing to, you know, transport equipment that needs to be kept dry, you can utilize it as that. And that's exactly what that is. It's a truck tarp. It's big enough that it'll cover the entire box and wrap around stuff. So that brings us to the shelter system that I used last night. So as I said, it was put up quick and dirty. It was raining, it was cold, and I rested a little bit. But the end result is that I was dry, I was warm. And I had not a 360 degree view, although I could have done that. But it's of a neutral type color. Yes, it'll stick out in the woods, um, but you can always camouflage it with uh, with natural foliage if you need to. It's not a huge issue. So if you're in a sketchy area where you don't want to be found, what? Well, guess what? The truck will get found first. So being a vehicle supported trip in any kind of an emergency situation, you're gonna always wanna travel by some more mode of transportation. You don't wanna be humping your shit everywhere. I'm getting older, I got arthritis in one hip. So yeah, you know what? You're gonna see a lot more vehicle supported uh, videos. Um, I haven't gone winter camping in a couple of years just due to that fact that I can't, uh, I can't walk as far and as long with as much weight as I used to. So um, that's another reason you haven't seen a whole lot of videos. But uh, yeah. So anyway, vehicle supported type camping trip here. Slash mock bug out, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't really matter. Uh, sheets of drywall from when I went uh, target shooting forgot them in the back of the truck but they actually served a purpose because as you can see the truck box and snow cover are not 100% water proof the rain does get in there runs down the sides runs in it keeps most of the rain and stuff out and your gear relatively dry but I mean it, it's yeah it's not 100% so doing that anyway I'm going to break camp, and uh, yeah, we will see if we do another night out here. I'm not 100% I'm not decided yet, so you may see another video. Uh, I might cook that chicken up that, uh, that I got there later on, but yeah, so, and uh, if you think you're going to run out to the woods, you're, uh, you're totally not going to be alone. Uh, there's... Um, a fellow on a quad went to pick up his kids over there that were uh, that were doing some deer hunting. So they're coming back. But anyway, ciao for now. I'm going to break camp and we'll get back to you later.